Hi, this is Vintage Toilets Vermont, and today I'm going to conduct the water consumption test on the 1970s Cadet. The test method is the same as always. Flush the toilet with the water off, and then begin filling the tank manually from gallon jugs, and then count the number of gallons that I put into the tank. So we'll start with the flush. Now I'll let you watch the tilt valve. And note that the toilet bowl did not siphon out. It looks like maybe this toilet needs more water pressure or maybe the jet isn't strong enough. Whatever the reason, here's gallon number one. You can see that that first gallon put about three inches of water in the tank. Here comes gallon number two. Here comes gallon number three. and we're a couple inches from the water line. And here comes gallon number four. I'm now at the water line. So I'll pour the rest of it in. And this is about where I was when the fluid master stopped. So I'm going to say that this tank uses four gallons of water to fill. The next thing is to turn the water back on, flush the toilet, and aim the refill tube into the jug and see how much water comes back. So, with four gallons in the tank, let's see what happens. The refill tube is in the jug, now let's see what happens. Okay, the tank is now full. The tilt valve is covered, and look how much water we have in the jug. It's going to overflow.
I want to keep it away from my shoe. So it decided to stop. I have a way overfilled jug. I am going to say that the 1970s American Standard Cadet uses anywhere from five and a quarter to five and a half gallons per flush. And of course that will depend on your water pressure. And at this location I have 20 pounds. This is Vintage Toilets Vermont saying thank you for watching.